Hello everyone. In today's video I break down the recent attack on Bitcoin ATMs. In this attack at least 56 Bitcoin were stolen, which amounts to 1.56 million dollars. Most of these have been managed by a company called General Bytes together with a cloud service. The attackers used a zero-day vulnerability to exploit an interface which was designed to upload videos to upload a malicious Java application and thus gain access to the system. Why was there a possibility to upload videos in the first place? Don't know. But it was there and consequently the attack occurred. The coins are now gone and General Bytes has now informed their customers to shut down all Bitcoin ATMs operated by them. A Bitcoin ATM works by being connected to a crypto application server managed either by the person operating the ATM or, in this case, by General Bytes via their cloud service provider DigitalOcean. The attackers scanned DigitalOcean's IP address space and found the crypto application server on port 7741. This port was used for Bitcoin ATMs not only by General Bytes but by other customers as well. Through the aforementioned video upload vulnerability, the attackers were able to inject their malicious Java code into the server which is used by the admin interface. What made this attack possible is that the application server was by default configured to start application in its deployment folder. Great. After having successfully infiltrated the system, the attacker was able to access the database, read and decrypt encoded API keys needed to access funds in hot wallets, transfer funds from hot wallets to a wallet controlled by the attacker, download usernames and password hashes and turn off two-factor authentication, and finally access terminal event logs to scan for private keys. The aftermath of this attack is that General Bytes will no longer manage crypto application servers for the customers. Also, the victims of this theft are just out of luck and will probably not see their bitcoins again, unless they somehow find the attacker and he still has the coins. This incident highlights again that hot wallets are inherently risky and have often been the target of coin theft. Hot wallets are wallets that are accessible through the internet. If you can, you should use cold wallets which are not accessible through the internet. Unfortunately, Bitcoin ATMs only work with hot wallets, so this will probably not be the last case of coin theft reported. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.